Well, singing Fine Maiden, obviously, um, we get, have all these people come into a concert and they pay all this money, they expect to see something, like, special, not just kind of T-shirt and jeans anymore. And the whole thing, I suppose, started uh, with bands like Jess Rotal and, of course, with Led Zeppelin and stuff like that. We've actually got some of their stage clothes here, which I'm going to show you now, which is fairly interesting. As a matter of fact, the same woman who made this jacket I bought this second hand made these trousers. These are actually Jimmy Page's trousers, as worn on all manner of album covers with the... Um, I think it's an astrological sort of um, symbol or some form of occult symbol that means his name in some sort of letters. I mean, but there's, you can see this symbol on the backs of kids all over the country who, like, put it on their, their denims and stuff like that, the same way that they put, like, Iron Maiden and things and everything. There's all these amazing jackets. I mean, they're really very sort of, you know, romantic and everything and silky and absolutely lovely. I mean, um, funnily enough, we could never wear anything like this because our stuff... Uh, we, run, we sort of run around so much that basically we have to wear anything that's stretchy, extremely washable, and um, we tend to just pick stuff off, just pick stuff up from wherever we find it. Going completely away from English heavy metal, which tends to be a bit, a little bit haphazard, as you can probably imagine, to the real glitzy glamour stuff. This is stuff from Kiss. This is Gene Simmons' outfit with this amazing pair of boots, which really look like they belong in a fireplace as, like, guards, or just put them on the front gate and they'll scare away intruders. This is Gene Simmons' codpiece. I'm not going to attempt to wear this at all, except to say that we have discovered that it is, in fact, stuffed. I shall say no more. Um, there are actually cod pieces are very popular. Cod pieces started uh, with Henry VIII and people like that, you know. A very popular thing, cod pieces, in those days. Um, whether it was to keep it warm or boast about your knightly prowess, I have no knowledge, but... In rock and roll terms, it's, I think it's purely to frighten young children. And um, uh, Ian Anderson from Jethro Tull, with his medieval connections and things like that, when he was getting very woody in the old days, used to wear a cod piece while he was standing on one leg twirling his flute and everything. Which I thought looked rather wonderful. It didn't really have any particular sort of sexual connotation at all. It was more, much more theatrical. Um, this thing, on the other hand, I think is definitely designed, as, as we say, to strike fear into the heart of somebody. Uh, there is an apocryphal story, actually, about a chap called Blackie Lawless, who plays for an American group called Wasp, who supported us on tour. He has one of these things. It actually has a plastic chainsaw blade that comes out of the front of it. And um, he has a firework inside, which, at a given signal from the appropriate whatever, I don't know if it's operated by somebody else. I think he operates it himself. The firework explodes, so you get this tremendous kind of, sort of, you know, pelvic thrusting with this thing, and suddenly, like <laughs> up goes the firework. It's very spectacular. In fact, there is one case on record when it exploded the wrong way with, I think he had to be taken off to sort of, not quite intensive care, but care anyway, somewhere. So anyway, there's, a, there's quite a difference, as you can see, between like the the American stuff and the, the English stuff. I think the English stuff tends to be more, um, much more sort of haphazard, more romantic in a way. This stuff is much more sort of showbiz, I, I guess, really. And I think that's the, <laughs> that's the main difference. I mean, basically, the English people just, like, mess everything up, you know? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
it's two distinct, different approaches. And there's a lot more castles here. There's a lot more of that kind of history here. There's a lot more history, period, here in this continent than there is in the United States. And the United States probably was based uh, more on Dodge City. You know, the whole thing of the cowboys and the streets and the guy who stepped out of line. I mean, who started the whole United States was people who were kind of stepping out of line, the pilgrims, you know. And that approach is very pragmatic, something that's very practical and day to day. And that's, that's what I reflect around myself. Do you um, regard yourselves as similar in, in any ways to any of the other bands on the bill, or do you think that you're completely... Maybe only in attitude in some of them. I mean, Ross done all kinds of material. Um, I like Kiss in their early days. I, you know, I think the only thing that we have in common with Kiss now is that you know they like to make money and they like girls. But as far as their music go, you know, basically their music is like second fiddle to their other desires. Our music comes first. Have you got anything in common with Iron Maiden? I hope not. Why? I don't know. They're not. A, I mean, they're nice guys, but you know, it's like political organizations. Mm. You know, your band's like a political thing, um, and your your music or your album's kind of like your political stance. Well, theirs is completely different ours than, than ours, and I think theirs doesn't have anything to do with rock and roll as far as I'm concerned. We're a rock and roll band. Yeah, um, the what they do is what they do. I don't know what it is, and I hope to never be like that. Hope it's not catchy. Izzy, were you going to say something there? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you feel good that this goes somewhat against the idea of a rock and roll lifestyle? Yeah, I always hate the rock and roll lifestyle anyway. Why? Well, it seemed to me quite dull, really. You know? So, I mean, I think the, uh... There were certain aspects of it which were quite attractive initially. You right. can't do that now because you die. So, uh... But all the drugs and stuff, I mean, was, I was never ever into that. Because I just had too much fun on my own without it. So, I'm having fun now, that's great, isn't it? What are we up to? 142. I think I can honestly say my legs are going to fall off before my heart gets up to 150. Yeah, you have to be fitter um, being in a sort of hard rock or heavy metal band than in a pop band. I mean, do you think that people like Ross yeah. or his people do? Mm. I have no idea. Don't take any notice of Ross anyway. As far as I can see, they don't actually do anything. Apart from stand around and look suntanned and put lots of earrings through their noses. I mean, that's about it. about God, about the system of things, about getting to work. 